This video is about picture box control tool tips and it's an extension of the previous videos about picture box controls such as button with picture box in it and radio buttons and check buttons with picture boxes in them and those controls look great they look really jazzy but the trouble is people will look at them and maybe or maybe not they'll figure out what those icons are supposed to mean so if we uh, paste a template paste a template of the uh, general picture boxes and in order to put a picture in the picture box we basically need to go over and select image and then add an image to the resources and since we're just being arbitrary here it doesn't really matter what we add let's add this guy say OK and that puts that picture in the, the box I've added the same image to everything because really this isn't one about image controls it's about tooltips so the next thing we need to do is go over to the toolbox and drag a tooltip over to the form and on the tooltip we want to set it up uh, the way we like it like I like to get rid of all these delays and set is balloon to true and set always show to true and I want to make sure active is true too and then once we've established the tool trip control maybe give it a more meaningful name like uh, TT for Hungarian notation tooltip. We can go over and select the uh, control we want to give a meaningful name to or meaningful uh, hovering the mouse over it to and go down to uh, tooltip on TT control or TT tooltip and type in something like uh, random play and you can hit enter and it works fine it just produces multiple lines uh, for entire system and then when you want to save the text just hit control enter and that puts it in the tooltip. Now go over and select the uh, next one and go to tooltip on TT tooltip and say uh, random play for selected subsystem and hit control enter to save that and select the final one and do sequential play for selected system and hit control enter to save the tooltip and now if we uh, save this and compile and run it and we hold the mouse over it you see we get a description of what the picture control does which you often need especially in the case of this because they all look the same <laughs> 
but of course you'd have different pictures in a real system and that way the tooltip will explain to the user how it works and you don't have to write a bunch of documentation and whatnot you can just hover the mouse over it and see well I hope you uh, enjoyed this video and learned a lot and I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe